Great news for you, Washington Nationals fans out there. You guys got a great player coming your way in Josh Bell. Uh, just earlier this morning, he was acquired by the Nationals in return for right-handed pitchers Bo Crowley, which is their Nationals' top uh, number three prospect, and Eddie and Eddie Yeen. In his 2020 stats, for he had a uh, 226 batting average, a 305 on base percentage, and 364 slugging percentage. With a 669 OPS, he had eight home runs and 22 RBIs. 22 runs and 44 hits in 60 games. Um, it was a shortened season last year. In his career, he's had a 261 batting average with a 349 uh, on base percentage, a 466 slugging percentage, an 814 OPS, and averages uh, as a um, 2.71 batting average versus righties and 2.32 batting average versus lefties. And this was written by um, Jessica Cam uh, Camacho of MLB.com. So actually, I'll start with you, Mario. What do you think? I mean, first of all, congratulations to Josh Bell. I mean, Josh Bell is a very good player. I think um, not too long ago, a couple of years ago, he was one of the best um, power hitters in our game. Definitely one of the best uh, Pittsburgh Pirate uh, players on that team. And I mean, it's, it's unfortunate for them that they're going to have to let such a good player go. But I mean, the Washington Nationals could really start rebuilding that team that they really so de uh, that re they really so desperately want to get back after having a bad season last year. You know, I mean, I bet they still have them expectations to go to the playoffs and win a World Series again. And I think Josh Bell is the perfect guy. Um, but I mean, like, I believe his best year was um, 2019. Yeah, uh, 2019, I want to say was his best year. Yeah. He, um, I mean, 37 home runs, I mean, 37 home runs, 116 RBIs. He, um, I mean... <laughs> There's not a lot I can say about him, Nate. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he really had a good, he really had a, a great season on 2019. And I think, and I think honestly, he can kind of rekindle that fire. But I mean, I think the Nationals are getting a really good player here. I absolutely agree. You know what? I'll say this too. I think this gives Josh Bell a second chance to prove himself because I, I, I'll, I'll give Josh Bell a pass. All right. I'll say this. And I'm, I'm going to tell you why. And I was talking to Nomar about this uh, off the camera. The Pittsburgh Pirates is the MLB's New York Jets. That team is absolutely terrible. They have no talent to work with. Their ownership doesn't care. So it's saying the same thing with their coaches. Coaches don't care. And, and they oh, keep I wouldn't, develop talent. I go I'm, 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 I'm keeping it real with you. I'm keeping it real with you. All right? They've had all this talent. They had guys like Andrew McCutcheon and Sarah Marte. Now they're off on different teams. And, same thing, and Josh Bell is no different. Josh Bell had all this talent. Now he's going to another team. Um, And... You know, what else can I say? Obviously, I can say congratulations to Josh Bell, but the Pirates just, ugh, it, it's just looking even uglier for them. They, you know, it, I, I think I think the window slammed shut once they got rid of Garrett Cole because that was one of their better pitchers in this decade. Uh, and now they just got rid of another good piece that they could have used in Josh Bell. And you know what? That's, that, you know, that team wasn't really good to begin with anyway, let's be honest with one another. But, you know, it just goes to show you that, the team itself just can't really develop talent that well. So you know what? I'll give Josh Bell a pass on that. And you know what? Let this be let this be a proven point for Josh Bell. You know, he's a great hitter, great uh, great first baseman. Um, and I think that's something the Nationals really need. And I think this might go well for now. I really do. Yeah, I mean, um, sorry for some reason, uh, baseball reference was not giving me the stats I wanted to prove my point, but. Um, 2019, though, he had a 277 um, batting average. He had 116 RBIs. He had 146 hits, 37 homers. And then 2017, he even had a good year. He had 26 home runs, uh, 250. He had a 255 batting average. He um, he had 140 hits, 90 RBIs. Josh Bell, I feel like, has always been – I feel like 2019, he was very underrated. I feel like he was a very good player for the Pit, for the Pittsburgh Pirates. I feel like he was very overlooked as a player. And I think, honestly, I think, I think the first baseman, man, I think he's going to, I think he's going to be something special for this national team. And when you look at who they have, when you look at uh, Juan Soto, I'm just pointing out offense. Uh, Zimmer, uh, Zimmerman, I believe. Ryan Zimmerman. I think he's still there. Yeah. Right. Ryan Zimmerman, I believe Ryan, unless he's with the, I believe Ryan Zimmerman is still there. I'm yeah. I think he real is. quick. Cause I don't want to give like false information. Hang on. Well, yeah, I mean, I hear what you mean. Yeah, like Ryan. Um, oh, he's a free agent right now. Oh, oh he's a free okay. agent. Oh, okay. All right, never mind. But I mean, the Washington Nationals do have a little bit of work to work with, and I believe they really could rekindle that World Series fire. And I think it does start with Josh Bell. You know, I mean, they got a great pitching staff. 
They still have Patrick Corbin. They still have Steven Strasburg. They still have Matt uh, Max Scherzer. Scherzer. They have Adam Ball Sanchez. Right. They still they got they got a good team, and I really do think they can rekindle that fire. It's just all about filling in those pieces that you lost in the in that World Series. You know what I'm also saying? Also, gotta remember, you know, how Kendrick retired out of meeting, went to the White Sox. So you also gotta right. you know, get fill in right, that. Which, which is right, which is the point I just made. Refilling those pieces that you lost. You right. know. And, and he's not a replacement for Anthony Rendon because I, I feel like right. that was the biggest reason why the Nationals weren't that great because Rendon went off the uh, right. Uh, right, and going to that, it's not just about getting a star. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody can go out and get a star. Who are you going to replace as a utility player? Because Anthony Rendon, I think, was one of the best utility players that year. Right. I'm going to keep it real. I think he really was. And who are you going to who are you going to replace Anthony Rendon with? that can do the utility job very well on that team. And it's all about them filling in the pieces. Do I think they're going to win it this year? No. Do I think, do I think though, it's going to start with Josh Bell? Yes, I really do. I think it starts with Josh Bell. And I think if he, re, he can rekindle that fire and they can fill in the pieces that they lost from that World Series team, I think they can make another trip. It's going to take them a few years. It's going to take them like another two or three years. But I do think they can re, refill those holes and I do think they can make another World Series appearance. I completely agree. So with that said, you know, congratulations to the Washington Nationals and Josh Bell uh, and good luck to both of them. See how it goes from here.